What's going on, YouTube? I'm Mr. Pleasant. I'm Mrs. Pleasant. And welcome to A Pleasant Love. I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out our new video. Video. We appreciate it. Video, yeah. It's all you know this language. New, new word. You know this language. <laughs> these languages. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are fine. I hope your family is safe. Mm -hmm. Hope you're staying safe. Um, for us Houstonians, stay strong. We got hurricanes coming out of everywhere. Golly, they're just anywhere. Hurricanes is coming. <laughs> Remember two weeks ago they said it was a hurricane. We didn't get nothing. We yeah, got we so didn't. yeah. We just still pray up, but <laughs> keep praying up. I don't believe that. See, if you got any, you should pray for us. You know, because this it's the hurricane season. It's what we go through. This is what we go through. So I hope you guys are staying safe. We love you. Um, for our new subscribers, thank y'all. Thank, you. thank Welcome you. to the squad. Welcome to the squad. Remember, anything we do here, anything we share with you guys, is our personal experience. But also, we want to share with you all our relationship with the God that we love. So yes. I hope you guys feel the love through the screen. And if you know us, what is to know us is to love us because we love y'all. You know. <laughs> yeah. Today, we are having a talk or a conversation about uncomfortable conversations. So marriages, marriages, relationships, friendships, all that good stuff. Yeah. You, If you live in this perfect world, I want to hear from you. I want you to comment down below and say i live the perfect life we don't do arguing we don't have any uncomfortable uncomfortable conversations my my values match with his values I my personality match with her personality i want to hear from you but in reality sometimes there are going to be differences and how can we make sure our love grows stronger you gotta have uncomfortable conversations sometimes yeah and um we notice that as we grow in our marriage we have more in-depth conversations um, because we want to make sure each one of us are feeling loved and appreciated in our relationship. Yes. And I think as you get as you're married, you start having more conversations that you're like, I didn't think I had to talk about this. I thought you knew it already. Yeah. And in actuality, if you don't say anything, then how is the other person supposed to know? They're right. not supposed to assume. They're not supposed to just guess out. But then with my friendships, you know, some people like to have those uncomfortable conversations and we have great relationships. And then some people avoid them completely yeah. and they don't feel comfortable having those uncomfortable conversations, which leads to not having good friendships, right? right. So <laughs> which, if you just hold that stuff in and try to be passive and like, what's wrong? I'm wrong. I'm like, you got to say something. Yeah. <laughs> it's just and then once it's brought to, you, brought to you, then you the other person has to meet you and say, well, that wasn't my intention. I'm very sorry, yeah. you know, and show compassion. But if you don't feel that compassion, it's kind of hard to yeah. keep that love growing or that friendship going because you don't have that camaraderie between both of you, you know, yeah. to, to talk about things that are uncomfortable. Uh, what we're going to do today is basically kind of go through how to have an uncomfortable conversation uh, with anybody, with your spouse, with yeah. your family, with your friend, with someone who has different beliefs than you. It'd it be political, religious, whatever the case may be. I want to start off asking God for peace and understanding. That, that I mean, you try to just barge in there, let's talk, sit down, and you didn't like really think it through. That, that sometimes that's how those arguments become toxic. Yeah. Sometimes it's how those friendships and relationships start becoming toxic because you you didn't go in there with the the purest intent. You just were like I'm about to tell her what this is, and we're gonna get to to the bottom of it. But God says, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. With thankful hearts, offer up your prayers and requests to God. Philippians four. And six. Now, I have to do this a lot, a lot of times. <laughs> like, God, <laughs> let me go over here and I still say something foul. Let me go over here and not ruin my relationship. <laughs> I got something to say. Let me make sure that I come in there with the correct <laughs> words. You know? I never did that. You never did that. <laughs> yeah, I did that a lot. Wait, wait, yeah, I, I did I, that I a never, lot too. I never did that before, <laughs> maybe eight years ago. Like, I never did that. I was like, if there's an argument between whoever, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's have a conversation. It's good. It's what's I, don't good. How, it's good. I don't care how you take what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't care how you, fe how you feel. I'm going to just say what I got to say. Yeah. And I hope it comes off clearly. Now, did I ever pray for peace and understanding? No. 
I just want to make sure you heard what I had to say. <laughs> and that was that. But, uh, <laughs> but, now, but that has been something that I had yeah, to, had to learn. Sure. And had to learn that, yeah. you know, what I'm feeling is not necessarily what they're feeling. Or what yeah. I'm assuming is not what they're assuming. That's the next thing yeah. is don't, don't assume. assume. Don't yeah. assume their motivation, <laughs> their intentions. <laughs> like, I'm preaching to myself, y'all, because yeah, this is still me. I'm still yes. growing through this because, yes. you know, you put people in a bubble and you think that they all think that way yeah. or they all act that way or because they had this experience, they think this way. And majority of the time, that's not the case. I don't know how much time and energy oh, are wasted throughout the day. Baby. I still remember one of our first baby. like arguments. Baby. I forgot what you did because that's how petty it was. I spent, I work, I used to work at Target. I spent all day like, man, why'd she do that? Why'd she do that? Why, is she like, are we still, are we still cool? Does she not love me? Like, what's up? And then I remember calling you like, are you still thinking about that? I'm like, yeah, because it was on my heart. Like my, I, I assumed Sierra's motivation was foul. Like, right. and if I, and in, in all, she was like, that was an honest mistake. I, I promise you I did it. And when, you know, once I heard that apology, you know, we were able to, you know, Broke continue our conversation. I think that was one of our best, like, date nights <laughs> after that day. Because he was just like, I just thought she was flipping crazy. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, no, <laughs> that wasn't, no. And we had the best date that, date that night after that whole argument. <laughs> so Proverbs 20 and 5, help us with that. Yeah. It says, someone's thoughts may be as deep as the ocean, but if you are smart, you will discover them. So... This is the other part of it. Yeah. I assumed, so I wasted all this time, and I didn't deal with the problem quickly Ooh. enough. I waited for like a week to pass, and I'm still harboring these feelings and emotions, letting this other person control basically how I feel yeah. because I haven't expressed my emotions about how I feel because I'm afraid of how they're going to take it. Right. You didn't waste a lot of time. time so time is time. Time is so so invaluable like you can't put a price on time no and you sitting there thinking about someone when you could be doing something else for your purpose your destiny yeah. you said leaving your head space open for other things and opportunities you sit here pondering and pondering that was a long day I, I, so I go back time. to my target that was a long day at least you just did a day you were <laughs> able to maybe like oh, yeah. weeks sometimes people go weeks and months they like, all you had to do was make a quick phone call and say hey like <laughs> Can we deal with this? Ephesians 4, 26 and 27, it says, don't get so angry that you sin. Don't go to bed angry and don't give the devil a chance. That's what happens is that I don't mind is the devil's playground. You sit in there pondering and thinking about what they did and then months and years come and it becomes a sin because now you're, that hate is growing. Hate is a yeah. sin. That hate starts growing in your heart. You know, and then like like Sierra says, you pass that down to your kids, and they're passing down. And, and then yeah. another another thing is that when you when you deal with things quickly, it, it limits. We have social media now. Oh yeah. The next point yeah. is that deal with oh, things God. Oh, God. privately. Oh God, please. No, oh God, <laughs> about this one. Oh my God, I hate privately. this. Privately, I hate this. Don't blast it on. The face, they could open the Facebook or the Instagram, the Facebook, the top TikTok. <laughs> don't blast it. Talk to the person That's first. It. You know, I don't, and know I, who, I don't even know who you talking to. I'm thinking like, she's talking to me. Like, what did I, did I just? Because they just you just post it so you you post it publicly and socially. No one knows who you talking to. Matthew eighteen fifteen um, says, if one of of my followers sins against you, go and point out what was wrong. But do it in a, in private, just between the two of you. If that person listens, you have one back a follower. And as Christians, yes. we do not do this <laughs> <laughs> because the people run from us. Yes, because we do not give that compassion. We do not yeah. go to them privately. You want to bring a whole gang of Sometimes whole we can't church hold group. Water. You, no, it's in the church bulletin. Lord Jesus, it's on the, it's God on the, uh, it's on your story. God bless. You. I know you're talking about me. You don't, you leave. You say he, she. You know, I know you're talking God about me. <laughs> don't, you know, talk privately. Go talk to that person. If yeah, you, and like you know, and have that conversation and show compassion and love and try to be understanding. You right. know, and if it's you know something that you don't agree with. 
then that's just you've heard them they've heard you yeah and you leave it at that don't get all nasty and be all social media and all that stuff so when you're dealing with that person who might be a little fire and you might be a little, a little water yeah <laughs> you're that person of course if it's the person's not even or the group or whatever it may not be that way you still want to put the put it out there yeah. listen yes before you come back to what i'm saying because if someone's bringing to you that there's a problem or they want to seek an understanding listen mm-hmm. first hear them first yes and then answer if you just jump on them before yes. you could actually uh get your point across then <laughs> oh I, I i've done i have to ask you sarah forgive me so many times because i've done that i just be coming in uh, it was a bull in the China yes, China yes, gallery. Like, yes. uh, baby, you want to calm down? Because that wasn't what I said. That's not what my intent was. <laughs> the other part of it, when you listen before you answer, you got to tame your, your tongue. tongue. Proverbs 12 and 18 says, sharp words cut like a sword, but words of wisdom heal. People who, who have a, a vulgar, vile, or very aggressive way of saying things or Mm -hmm. when you talk about a group of people you talk just the words come out of your mouth or just the way you say it the tone that you talk about them you have so much hate and you don't even realize that you have that much hate and i had to check myself uh, because i find myself with certain things and certain situations i'm like (laughs) and i'm just like God, please give me find find a piece of joy, a peace in my spirit, because I need to. This needs to calm down. Because if the more I I feed that negative, that that vulgarity or that that spirit, the more it rises up in you, and you right. really can't get your point across or express how you really feel in a in a positive way, so that the other person can hear you. You yeah. know, so when you Tame that thing. <laughs> tame, tame it. it. Tame your words and your volume. It makes the relationship a lot better, and you could. I think you can come to a common ground of understanding. <laughs>